right, here we are taking a 71 series clutch pack apart. This particular one came out of the 1013 transmission I showed you earlier. This is how I personally take them apart. There's different methods from different, different people use, but this is what I do. I take the snap ring that's on the shaft, I take that one off. Then I take the clutch drum snap ring off. Alrighty. There. Then we move it on. As you notice, if you, if you bang it on the concrete, you put holes in your concrete. So that's why I'm lazy. But I use this aluminum piece right here. That brings that part off. Then you tip it up upside down and that removes the forward clutch cylinder. All right. Then we take the snap ring inside the clutch pack. This is not a snap ring, it is just a spacer for the bevel return spring to ride on. All right, everybody remember that? Thicker, smaller in diameter, goes inside the clutch pack. Now, notice the, these clutch plates are paper. They used this back in about 1980 to 1984 or so. Throw them away, put the bronze ones back in. There. And here's your drum. Look inside the drum to see if there's any marks on the inner gears. All right, that's what we'll be looking for. Looking to see if there's any wear on the bevel forward return spring. This is one of the most interesting things I've seen in a long time. This is the pump that came off that CR2 transmission again. Notice the seal. It just, just, just separated from the metal ring. Never in my life have I ever seen that. All right, this is what's causing the problem inside the transmission. This is the reduction reverse planetary assembly. This gear bolts on or mounts on here with a nut. Notice it obviously the nut loosened up at time at one time and it chewed into the spline area. Here's the output coupling I showed you earlier in the first video of the transmission. Somebody had marine taxed the nut onto the shaft. The reason they did that was because the nut had loosened up. When it loosened up, it allowed the the coupling to move in and out and beat up against the baron and cut this groove in it. This happens a lot whenever the nut is backed off. This is Chris from Hale Marine. Feel free to give me a call anytime at 804-333-3677. I talk to people all day long and give them free advice. Or you can email us at sales at hailmarine.com that goes to Karen's desk, and you can talk to Karen. Or on our Facebook page, Instagram account, or on the YouTube channel you're watching now, hopefully. Leave a comment below, and we should get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.